I, I imagine Dad was a huge influence. Do you knock him over in the garden? How old were you when you first? Uh, to be honest, my, my mum was the biggest influence on me. Um, Dad sort of moved out of home back when I was four, three or four. So it was my mum who was always throwing it at me in the garden and, and bowling at me and taking me around the country, watching me play cricket. Oh, okay. The biggest influence she had on me was when I got into the car after, whether I'd scored 60-odd or not, it was never a drilling of my technique or anything like that. It was, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. And, and that was sort of just fed my love for the game. And I, I did a lot of the learning my learning of cricket in the back garden. I had sort of close mates and we just used to meet up, tape up a tennis ball yeah. and, and play. And um, I, I've never had a net with my old man. Um, I'm quite lucky now that I can speak to him because he's still involved in the game. Yes. So he still sees cricket from around the world. Um, so I can talk to him a lot better now than I could do when I was growing up. So, uh, Tony resonated, I thought, with the words about his love of the game and what the game of cricket means, per se, and its relationship with life. Do, do you love the game? I adore it, yeah. I mean, it, I look back to when I used to play in the garden, we'd have a video camera filming out, like, if it was a close LBW, we'd take yeah. it back in, plug it into the TV and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> the times they are, exactly. 